So, psycholinguistics. So, I gave you uh, this. Is it okay? I gave you this first book uh, that uh, I asked you to photocopy. It's important and you need it. And you need to read it carefully. Okay? Because it's the basis of the psycholog uh, psycholinguistic principles which we are going to discuss and especially to see how they can be useful for teaching a second language. Uh, relying on the other book <coughs> which I have with me here, which is Principles of Language Learning and Teaching. Okay? And in this book, you have all the types of theories uh, introduced to you. And we are going to discuss those theories in, and those chapters of the book in relation to the videos. So the videos, they give you a kind of introduction of what you have in the book. Okay? They are not really focusing on the book. Okay? But they discuss some of the ideas mentioned in the book. So, we're going to use these videos, and which we're going to start today, uh, okay, and discuss them. But, of course, you need to read the book and to complement the discussion at home. And one of your assignments is going to be, okay, to write uh, an overview of the chapters, okay, individually. Each one of you should write an overview of the chapters in this book. This is an assignment for you to hand in in the very last class. Okay? So, concerning the videos, so the videos you have the main ideas discussed in the book. So, we're going to uh, go through definition of psycholinguistics today and goals and branches of psycholinguistics, levels of conversation, linguistic encoding, the mental lexicon, articulation and control 1 and 2, the nature of the input signal 1 and 2, pre-lexical processing 1, in which we discuss speech perception, pre-lexical processing 2, in which we focus on discussing written input and then we will finish with the theories of language acquisition we'll divide it into three uh, videos there for you okay so in the first classes this is what we're going to do we're going to discuss the videos in relation to the book of course okay that's why i ask you to read the book and also ask you to view the videos at home so that you come ready for discussion hope it's not your first time you are going to watch the first videos. Who is going to watch the first videos for the first time? Yes. Yes. Why? I find the problem uh, to, uh, to log in into the online course. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with the, with the, with the mobile uh, platform in general. Yes. Is it a key password? Okay, we discuss these problems later. But uh, because I'm recording this to be put, okay? So you need to, 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 to watch the videos, please, okay? And did you read the chapters? Start reading the chapters in the book, okay? So uh, this is uh, going to be our first classes, maybe two to three possibly to four. It depends on how, how quickly we go, okay? And then we're going to move on and focus more on this book, which I have asked you to, uh, to read as well, called Principles of Language Learning and Teaching by Douglas Brown. I like this book particularly for you, okay? Because there are different ways how you can tackle the psycholinguistics course, depending on the specialty of the students and the program. So for you, it's not a program of linguistics, so we're not going to go deep into the various research done in relation to how psycholinguists investigate language processing and language acquisition and so forth, okay? We discuss these things in relation to the video and to the introduction book, to introduct your book I gave you, but we will focus more on the relevance of all these uh, stuff and research done on 
first language acquisition and second language acquisition, and how they can serve to train uh, okay, teacher, uh, student teacher to be a successful teacher, to teach a foreign language successfully. So the course, as you can see here, these are the main objectives of the course. It's a description. A course on the theoretical foundations of language teaching. It's a survey of what research has revealed about how human beings acquire a second language. It's a survey. Where can you find the details? It's in the introductory book on psycholinguistics and, and other books, okay? So here it's a survey, and then they move on to the next point, which is amalgamation of pedagogical methodological implications, including sections that tackle learning theory inspired methods. So it goes on into discussing how this research serves in uh, teaching a foreign language successfully. And also it includes classroom connections that show how research in second language acquisition may have implications or applications for language classroom <coughs> pedagogy. And this is going to be the focus of our okay, uh, course after the uh, first three to four classes. Which means we're going to have maybe something like 14 classes in total. Okay, So then... According to the program, we are going to follow the same table of contents in the book here. And here you are, yes, please? Do you mean this book, principle? Yes, I, I'm talking about this book. That's why you see the book picture in there. I, I said that, let's go back. So here, there are two parts of the course. There is a, the psycholinguistics component, in which you have to study what the research says about this, okay? Also, this book tackles this, okay? But I want you to go into detail, a bit of detail, not a lot of detail, but a bit of detail in relation to uh, psycholinguistic research, right? And we're going to tackle it as such, without referring to anything related to language teaching or whatever, pedagogy or classroom, just in general, in the first three to four uh, video discussion of the, of the videos, okay? Then, after this, we're going to move on to the, I'm not going to call it the main, but it's the main. Everything is main. Everything is important. But there's something more important for you as teacher, student teachers, is that you need to know how this theory of second language acquisition, first language acquisition, and second language serve you in your teaching process, okay, to be an effective teacher. And in this way, we're going to, to focus on this book, okay? When we move on to pedagogy, classroom, and so on, we focus on this book. Because this book does this, okay? This is its uh, uh, maybe point of power or, let's say, strength, all right? So we're going to follow the same table of contents in the book in which you have, uh, we're going to, 10 chapters there. So we have them 10 here, two, two, four, six, eight, 10 chapters. So we're going to deal with them all. And this is the first one, which is called language learning and teaching. It's also kind of uh, goes into the review as well, but it takes you to teaching. It starts taking you from the theories of first language acquisition and second language into teaching, into <coughs> pedagogy, into classroom. Okay. We're going to talk about first language acquisition, age and acquisition, human learning, styles and strategies, personality factors sociocultural factors, communicative competence, cross-linguistic influence, and learning, learner language towards the theory of second language acquisition. In this book, I like it as well, in addition to the fact that it focuses on second language acquisition theories and, and uh, pedagogy and teaching, it also goes a little bit further into the psycholinguistic research, into tackling and discussing also the cultural component, okay? which you don't find maybe in the first book, okay? So this is why I like it. Those, for example, you have here sociocultural factors. Because psycholinguistics, you have psycholinguistics, you have linguistics, you have psychology, but there is part of literature, uh, part of uh, culture and society in it as well, right? And which you need to take into account in your teaching as well, right? So uh, for this one, uh, we're going to, uh, you're going to do presentations, right, for this one. Uh, I, I haven't brought with me, I forgot it, the uh, list which we are going to follow the order, 
okay? Because what we did for the presentations, in order to make it easier for you, is that uh, we have prepared a kind of list, okay? For each teacher has got the, you remember the attendance sheet? Now, each teacher, in addition to that, has got the repartition of presentations. So that if group A or group one makes a presentation with a teacher A in one course, has only that presentation during that week. Okay? And then the same thing uh, goes on. But all of you will be doing presentations, by the way, it's okay? You'll be doing, but you will be doing only one presentation during the week. So you understand this principle? Okay? So uh, I haven't brought it with me, but I can uh, share it with you on the Facebook group later. Okay? And then you just follow it. Okay? You have the names, and then you have topic one, topic two. So you follow these. We have here 10 chapters. You follow these 10 chapters, 10 topics in the list. So, for example, the, there are going to be uh, students who have topic one. A group of three. In the end, I have made a group of two because we can't have everything fairly, right? So you just follow. For example, if you find your name and the next to it you have topic one, T1, so you are going to do presentation in this one, okay? In this one with psycho with the with me, okay? Following my list, okay? So that's it. I'm not going to go into the details of the go or the goals of each chapter, which you can do later on. What I'm going to do now is uh, move to uh, 